Graham has a question. Can you experience the causal body? Yes, we can and you are experiencing it right now. The causal body is, by definition, storage of some kind. It's a memory of some kind where the life experiences are being stored. And the experience of the causal body is nothing but an echo of those experiences. How are they seen? They are seen as desires and tendencies, likes and dislikes. Some are acquired during our day-to-day experiences with the world, with the people and so on. But not all. Many of them are already ingrained. They are already stored and they are expressed. This is the experience of the causal body. It is non-physical, non-mental memory. How to distinguish that which is coming from our local memory and that which is coming from the causal body? It is very easy. If you look at a child, the child has genetic makeup, the child has the characteristics of the parents and uh, the behavior of the child is something more interesting. Sometimes the child displays a behavior which nobody has taught or sometimes the child excels in things, activities and qualities and skills in a very short time. Starts drawing like a grown-up artist, trained artist, starts singing like a trained singer or has brilliant mathematical abilities or engineering abilities or, or has spiritual powers as questions which were never told to them. Ask this question, do not ask that question, we teach them, but they can think and uh, that motivation comes from the causal body. Sometimes they ask extraordinary questions and if you go into the fringe, some children are able to tell stories that nobody taught them. Somebody is a, some, some children are able to recall what happened in the past before their birth. And then they mingle with the society and the world and now everything is lost. Now the environment dominates their personality, not the causal body. The causal body is in the background doing the overall job, managing the life goals and so on. What do we like in our life most? If the influence of the causal body is not much, if the causal body is young, we call them the young souls. They are influenced more by the environment and the people and so on. But if the causal body has a stronger influence, you will clearly see there is a life goal, there is a path, there is an attraction towards specific things. There are tendencies that are manifested no matter what is the environment. Let us say if the mother and father and family is totally religious kind, the child grows up as atheist with scientific rational beliefs and so on not attracted at all to the conditioning. How is that explained? There is some influence, yes, but preferences, they come from the causal body, we say. So this this is the experience of the causal body, which I'm sure everybody experiences every day, every second. There is another way to experience the causal body, and that is during sleep. I can tell you my personal experience that If you are in the aware sleep, that means your awareness is on in the sleep, it is not complete darkness. That is the first surprise that I found. It does not look like I am sleeping. There is light. Yes, the senses are not working, but that is not our concern at all. Actually, we find it very blissful that the senses are not working. Free floating feeling, first of all. It is not that the senses are not working. We can hear things and so on. Ears are working mostly. But the unusual thing is there is mental activity in sleep and mostly the activity is of the causal body. We cannot understand what's going on. It is like a stream of random information. Some parts of that look consistent, logical, okay, meaningful, but most of it is totally meaningless. And I've seen that they are mostly a stream of desires of some kind. They are being expressed. Some work is going on there. Huge pile of memory. And it looks like that I am thinking in fast forward, not I, I mean there is thinking going on in a very fast speed, tremendous amount of information. That was my experience of causal body. I thought it is causal body because no, it is not the projected body. Obviously the projected body feels and looks like solid, our just like physical bodies. The causal body is simply storehouse of tendencies 
they will be expressed they are being expressed through this physical body and uh, you you can witness them directly but it is impossible to understand what is going on there some people are going to say probably it was a hallucination you were in a sleep and you <laughs> simply imagined these things but uh, the experience will tell you that the experience is so new that there is no possibility of imagining it and why would i imagine these things in sleep while sleeping there is no reason to do that what do we imagine what i am going to do tomorrow what happened in the past he said that and she did that this is not happening and that is not happening i wish i should i could get this thing and that thing the pettiness is our imagination not the huge mountain of information that flows in the causal body so probably there was some mental activity that was going on but that is how i see it the sleep is full of activity that is my experience we do not remember it because it's does not concern our waking state too much waking state is about survival of the body and these uh, extraordinary things which are not extraordinary natural only they do not um, have any importance in the waking state so in the waking state the causal body is in the background it is hidden it comes out in the dream state and in sleep sleep is activity of the causal body we say scientists will tell you that during sleep a huge amount of data is transmitted from uh, short term memory to long term memory that is their terminology and uh, we have the same theory actually that during sleep the contents of the local memory are transmitted into causal memory and then the causal memory influences the local memory and when we get up in the morning there are fresh ideas fresh desires freshness today i want to do this there are thoughts like this so the more you pay attention to the causal body the more obvious it will become what do we do this these concepts are never told to us and there are no practices at all to enable this kind of experience so it remains hidden mother nature has no desire to reveal it she likes secrecy so and if all these things that are in the causal body if they manifest the creature can go mad actually it's too much too much there for example all your past lives are there all your past relations are there all the sins and mistakes <laughs> that you made all the crimes you committed they're all there if they come out in open yes mental asylum so mother nature is very smart she has given us only that much which we can handle and that is called our primary allocation prarabdha about which we keep talking every day isn't it in all the satsangs it is easy to see what is my allocation through a series of questions introspection contemplation and if you have never done that you have never paid attention to what is in the causal body very important to do that all the our path does not demand it the path of knowledge says ignore it it is illusion so ignore it <laughs> it's really not important from the po- point of path of knowledge but uh, from the point of view of the creature who has to carry the burden of life it becomes easy when you know why are you here like i say it becomes easy when you know the map google map of where is your destination how long it will take what is the road like so on then it's a pleasure to drive no confusion you are not directionless although you should always consult your guru because who knows what whatever you have known is your only your imagination only some temporary influence from some place i'm not saying the influences are bad if your causal body is blank then what whatever the influences you are going to do in your life nothing wrong in that it's a learning experience always consult your guru i am not saying the guru will know everything but there are some gurus you see they have advanced so much that they can read the causal body and i cannot so but i can advise you on your allocation i can see some logical mistakes if you communicate it to me if i know you for let us say one year or more then everything about you will become crystal clear to me and this is not a power this is not a spiritual power even you can do that if you pay enough attention to the tendencies of the person 
what do they say how do they behave what is their mental condition are there any fears are there any suppressed desires you can see through their eyes we say like this i can see behind your eyes it is possible when i when i say you know like i say if you know your constitution you can know anybody's constitution constitution by which we mean the causal body the contents of the causal body do you know yours probably not that's why you don't know anybody's it is not difficult so what happens is you see if you are doing the spiritual work you will find something surprising that the person you are teaching becomes bare bare naked in front of you the guru field or whatever you see mechanisms there are they will reveal everything about that person to you by everything i mean that which is needed for his or her spiritual growth and it takes a little bit of time i know in the, there must be involvement of the guru with the student a little bit personal relation must be there otherwise the guru has no interest the student has no interest in telling and, and it is not that the teaching won't happen but it will happen at a superficial level especially if there are problems then the student must come forward that is why i say express start expressing most of my time that is allocated for spiritual work goes in listening to people their stories it's not that i am totally interested in their stories no i am probing into their causal bodies when they are talking and the work starts at the causal level because we know that's where things work you know if you start from the cause then the the effect can be seen i mean that is more effective if we treat the symptoms sometimes we do but not effective so i see one thing one amazing thing that all of you have thousands of years old causal bodies all of you you even you don't know that which i know so it's amazing actually the experience of the causal body is amazing you can do r&d on that you can do phd on that and you can become a master of causal body it is a subject in itself like i came to know so much that i can write a book on it it will be probably very boring so i can go on like this but hopefully graham has a starting point there see it cannot be given in one or two lines you need to live it get the experience yourself okay sanjay has a question how does causation prarabd linked to accidental or untimely deaths we can guess these things isn't it <laughs> is not possible there is no standard answer to this when you say accidental that eliminates causal isn't it if it is planned it is not accidental it is not untimely when you say that when you link it with the cause causation it is timely then isn't it so either the death will be accidental untimely or it will be preplanned it cannot be both do you see the logical failure so probably you mean that the deaths which are apparently accidental apparently untimely is it possible that they are already planned in the causal body and i can say yes you see no surprise it's obvious it is possible why not sometimes it is like this that this creature will live only for 6 months sometimes the diseases are built in into the creature i am not talking about the genetic kind yes genetic thing is another issue it's totally different layer i am talking about something mental or psychophysical it's a new word isn't it psychophysical which means the disease in the body is simply manifestation of something in the mind and it is usually the causal body so yes sometimes there is only this much storage that you will live for 6 months after birth and then this baby dies people will say what is the point well that was the only point we don't know how why these things happen like this so sometimes it looks like that the person has not even finished their life and they die there can be causal reason but uh, how will we know you need to know that person in and out like i said you need to know that person at a spiritual level no no he was my relative i knew him no 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 relatives don't know anything you need to study the person spiritually by which i mean study the layers and nobody has that much time you see the relations are superficial what is that person doing for me what is he giving me what am i getting i am getting any happiness from there or not this much we study we never 
enter deeply into their minds into their hearts if if they die and timely death we never come to know we think that it is an accident so sad but probably only that much remained uh, probably <laughs> so there was some other reason for that sometimes the causal body gets bored or and withdraws sometimes or oh, wrong birth i am going back happens so uh, the good news is as you progress spiritually as your sensitivity increases without your knowing these things will be revealed to you there are people like this i have seen i met these people they can tell you everything future past whatever and it is not that they have the special power they can read the causal memory that's all what is there in the causal memory of an average person boring stuff nothing special only the causal memories of a seeker people who are in the spiritual field they have something interesting in them they do something interesting the rest boring so we don't bother too much with these things